Hi, this is TriTech's new version of our Minge PD positive displacement micro injector. You can turn it on and then the display will show you the parameters. This first one, the F, means that it's going to inject going forward. That can be controlled by pushing the minus button in this mode so it can go reverse or forward depending on which you do there. And then the other two things, this shows five microliters, that's the amount that it's set to inject, and a speed of 0.3 seconds per microliter, so that means it's going to inject the five microliters in under two seconds. It's controlled by a foot pedal. I'll push the foot pedal and you can see the plunger in the syringe. That was reversing, now I'll go forward. and each time I hit the foot pedal it advances five microliters. We have a series of different syringes available for the Minge PD. This one has a total capacity of 100 microliters. We also have 250 and 500 microliter syringes available depending on whether you need more volume or more precision. You'll notice that coming out of the end of this is a standard lure tip, lure lock connection coming out of the syringe and that's going to our Minge 4 brass straight arm needle holder. And in place of this black piece of wire you'd ha normally have a glass capillary needle or we have a different version of this that will accept metal lure needles as well. Now I'm going to show you the different menu settings that are available. So you push the menu button sequentially to go through the settings. The first one is the volume. It was set at 5 microliters. If we want to decrease it, we can push the minus button singly, or if we push it and hold it, it'll go quickly. And when we get to from point 0.1 down to 0, it actually puts it into manual mode. And in manual mode, the device will move for as long as the foot pedal is held down. And then it wraps around, so if I hit minus again, it'll go to the maximum available for the 100 microliter syringe, which is 50 microliters. And plus does the opposite. And then when, you, when you've got the setting that you would like it to be at, what you do is you push the menu button again and then it says press plus to save and if you press plus it saves it and now that parameter is stored in the system and it will remember that when power goes off and power comes on. The second menu may seem a little confusing at first but then it'll make sense. It's speed N and that's because the device has three preset speeds which you can preset to three different values and so this lets you quickly go between those three presets. Uh, what you just noticed there is if you, put, if you don't do anything in menu mode for about 20 seconds menu mode cancels itself and restores it to the values that were previously set if you haven't saved anything. So now will go back to speed N and as I press the plus button speed the first of speed N is 0.3 the second one which is speed 2 is 12 seconds per microliter and this third one is set to 100 seconds per microliter which is really slow and then it wraps around again so um, we'll leave it at this setting so I'll press menu but instead of pressing plus I'll just press the menu button again so it didn't save anything. Okay, now you'll see what these three presets are. So after speed N, this is speed 1, which is 0.3, speed 2 is 12, and speed 3 is 100. So we could change these to any three different speeds, and like we could change the 100 to be 105 or 110, 
save it and now when I go to speed n it'll go 0 0.3, 12 and the third one now will be 110 as that choice so that lets you go rapidly between those different things okay next after the speeds there it has an agitation mode and you can set a volume for the agitation mode and a speed for the agitation mode and I will demonstrate agitation mode next this unit has a built-in agitation mode that's useful if you're injecting something like stem cells and they may settle out of solution in the needle when you're in between injections and you want to resuspend them so when you're not in menu mode the plus button activates agitation mode and it'll move the syringe plunger back and then forward to its original position repeatedly while you hold down this button so right now it's set for one microliter at 0.2 microliters per second in the agitation menu so it'll move very quickly okay next in the list of menus after all of the speeds and the agitation mode settings is display contrast you can vary that and that'll help depending on what angle if you're looking down at the unit or straight on that the display has good contrast the backlash setting has to do with whether or not there's any slop in the syringe between when the unit is moving forward and backward so that when you change directions that you'll get the full volume so um, that's something that you can experiment with if you need it it may be fine just to set it to zero div 10 mode lets you set smaller increments than normal so the volume is normally in 0.1 microliter increments but if you enable div 10 mode by setting it to one then the point 0.1 will actually be point 0.01 and 1 will be point 0.1 and so on if you need to set a very small volume. Next is the syringe size. So it's important because the unit works by how far the syringe is moved that you set the right syringe volume. So we have the 100 the 250 and the 500 microliter syringes and that will equate the amount of movement of the plunger with how many microliters is expelled by the unit. Counter is something that just keeps track of how many times the foot pedal was pressed in between the time the unit was turned on and that particular time. It's not something unlike the other menus that it remembers the setting when you turn it on and off. The counter gets reset every time you turn the unit off. P mode is something brand new. This lets you use this as a pressure type injector instead of just a positive displacement injector. So what you can do is you can set P mode to 1 and now the behavior of the device is going to change so normally when you hit the foot pedal it'll just go in the direction that it's supposed to go in based on forward or reverse and then it'll stop and that's the end of it and it, you don't have to hold down the foot pedal you just click the foot pedal and it'll do what it's supposed to in P mode, which is pressurization mode, it'll move forward the volume that's set and then while you're holding down the foot pedal it will stop. Then when you release the foot pedal it will return back to its original position. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. So it's set for 50 microliters so it's going to move forward quite a bit. And you can imagine that if there's air in the syringe, instead of 
oil or water or some other hydraulic fluid that the air would be getting compressed right now and generating a pressure in the tubing and in the needle. So a very small amount of volume could start flowing out of a very small tip needle. And then when you want to stop the injection, you release the foot pedal and it returns back to its original position. We have one more mode which can be used sometimes. It's a little bit sensitive, but if you need a very high speed pressure pulse and this is not fast enough for you, and if there's not too much drag on the syringe, you can go into P mode 2. So in P mode 2, it's going to do the same thing as it did in P mode 1. It's going to start at 0.3 seconds per microliter, but it's going to accelerate up to about 0.1 seconds per microliter. So now it should do what it did before, but faster. Okay, so now I'll show you how the pressure mode 2 works. You'll see the syringe will move much faster this time. and then it stops and this would be while it's injecting at full pressure and then when you're done with your pulse you release the foot pedal and it returns back to its original position. The last menu after P mode is P volume and what that would do is instead of returning all the way to its original position you could set it for something like 0.1 microliters or 0.01 microliters because this volume, this P volume mode is already in div 10. So if you set it for 0.1, it would actually be 0.01, and then the syringe won't return 100% to its original thing, so that it leaves a little bit of positive pressure behind it to keep things from getting sucked back into the needle. One more feature that we have available with the Minge PD is it has an optional computer interface. So this USB cable can be attached to any computer, Mac, Linux, or Windows. And by sending simple character commands, which you can generate yourself or can be generated from some lab automation software, you can control all of the menu functions and put push button functions of the unit. Thanks a lot for listening. You can feel free to contact us at Tritech Research via our website at tritechresearch.com or our phone number which you can find there.